Today in this video, we're going to show you the walkability of Normandy Park. Have you ever just like wanted to figure out where you're going to walk around here? There's so many choices. Let's go find out. Well, one of the great things about doing these walks is that you get to see the really cool views and the cool houses. This house is over here. This one looked just like ours, right? So it was a 1950s mid-century modern, and uh, they took the wrecking ball and took it down and built this really cool house. Beautiful. The one right next door to that is the second home that was built down in uh, Normandy Park back in uh, the 20s. And tonight there's gonna be a luau that we're going to at this house. <laughs> All right, Brittany Circle Park, this is on the route. So this is a really a little known park, but it's such a gem. Located right in the middle of the neighborhood, dedicated in 1928 by the original developer, Seattle Tacoma Land Company. But you didn't know that. I didn't, no. One of the things that I love about Normandy Park is the involvement of the community. Mm -hmm. And you'll see people out and about helping to make sure that areas like this stay beautiful. Absolutely. So next, we're going to the cut through and it takes us down to the Normandy Park Cove. Continue our journey down to the Cove. What is the Cove, anyway? The Cove Why is- Why do they call it the Cove? Well, that's a great question, Trey Dana. And who's gonna know that answer? You are. So we're here in Normandy Park Cove, which comes as a part of Lot A rights. Um, and adjacent to the cove is the Normandy Park Swim and Tennis Club. Yeah, it's highly advisable though, if you're thinking about moving to Normandy Park, you get your name on the <laughs> waiting list because it's about a three year wait to get into the pool. One of the cool things about the cove and the cove park is that the first Saturday of every month mm -hmm. uh, during the summer, the stewards of the cove get together and uh, put in about three or four hours of intensive labor to keep this place beautiful. And tomorrow, I'll be there. Awesome. Well, man, we just came out of all the, all the uh, trails. Now we're about to go enter into the place where the cove is all about. Beyond the wood, you look right over at our house, right over there, about eight houses down the beach. And right out there, you've got our boat on a buoy. The mooring buoy is out about 300 yards offshore, and uh, there's about a 15-foot variation of tide here. One of the great features about the Normandy Park Cove is that it has a boat ramp, which are not easily found here in the Puget Sound on this right. side. The only other ramps are the one over in West Seattle and down in Redondo down south. So, but you know, you have to know how to na navigate it, man, because it's not easy. There are currents. Yeah. yeah. And there's wind. Yes. And there's the tide. And so there's, there's people watching every move. And there's a lot of people watching every move. Here we are in Nature Trails Park, the other direction from the beach, a little bit more cool in the shade of these beautiful, are they birch trees? What kind of trees I are these? I think there's right? a lot of different trees here. You know, I'm a city girl, so I don't really know all these <laughs> trees. All right, we wanted to show everyone the real walkability of the Normandy Park community. There's a ton of different opportunities to get down close to the water, up in the uplands, and it's just a, a real fun place to explore. One of the most fun things to do around Normandy Park is to get outdoors, run into friends, run into yeah. neighbors. You know, you'll never go home. Yeah, exactly. It does take us a long time on our walks yeah, some nights. It does. It does take us a long time, yeah. <laughs>